Welcome to this introductory film about the Royal Free's Pulmonary Hypertension Service. This short film is designed to give you an outline of what to expect when you come here on your first visit. You will have been referred to our service by either your GP or by a specialist in another hospital who suspects you might have pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension is a rare condition in which the blood pressure in the arteries that go through the lungs is high. This is not related to what people usually mean by high blood pressure. Please bear in mind that just because you've been referred here, it does not mean that you have pulmonary hypertension. In fact, most patients referred here don't have the condition. We try to see patients within a month of their referral and we'll be in touch with you to arrange a suitable date and time for your first appointment. I was just wondering uh, how the next couple of weeks are looking um, so that we can arrange an appointment for you to come up to Royal Free. During that call, we will discuss transport options with you and we can even arrange overnight accommodation at a nearby hotel. The nearest tube stations is the Belsize Park and we have the Hampstead Heath as well overground station. If you're unsure how to get here, there'll be information in your appointment letter and detailed information available on our website. When you come into the hospital, please follow signs to the institute and the clinic areas on the second floor. When you arrive at the clinic, check in with the reception. I've got an appointment this morning. Can I have your letter, please? We will also give you a form to fill in about your symptoms. The clinic staff will weigh you and may ask for a sample of urine. We finish, you can follow me. Okay, we go to the reception. We will take your blood pressure and ask you to do something called the six minute walking test. So off you go. During this test, we see how far you can walk up and down our corridor in six minutes. The doctor will go over your medical history and examine you. Often we can give a final opinion at that point. But sometimes we do require further tests. And then I want you to blast out the air as fast as possible down the tube until... Some patients may require a lung function test. This measures how well the lungs are working. And boom! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Use the stomach muscles, keep pushing. And involves breathing in and out of your mouth through a tube for as long and as hard as you can. And stop there, have a rest. Are you okay? We may need to carry out an echo. We're going to be taking some pictures from various angles. This is an ultrasound test of the heart and provides useful information on how well the heart is functioning. Now you just need your arms up over your head. Sometimes we'll do what we call a VQ scan, which looks for blood clots in the lung arteries. This involves being given a gas to breathe through a mask and an injection into a vein in the arm. We have an MRI scanner which gives us very detailed pictures of your heart. For it to work, you need to lie still for about half an hour. The scan will tell us precisely how well the heart is pumping and whether the heart is under strain or not. The gold standard test for investigating pulmonary hypertension is the right heart catheter. This is a quick procedure done under local anaesthetic and it will tell us whether you have high pressure in the lung arteries or not. Once we have all the results, we will explain the diagnosis and discuss the next steps with you. We can start off with the heart scan you had done. We usually conclude one of three things. Firstly, we may find that you don't have pulmonary hypertension. Secondly, you may have pulmonary hypertension, but it might be due to underlying heart or lung conditions. In this case, the focus of your treatment is of those underlying conditions, and in that case we will refer you back to your heart or lung specialists. Finally, you may have the rare form of pulmonary hypertension that requires specialist ongoing treatment in our service. In this case, we'll usually start some therapy and arrange ongoing treatment with you.
we've got a great team of doctors and nurses, supported by the latest technology and clinical trials to give you world-class care. There's more information on our website.